Hello everyone, in this video let's discuss about the checksum problem. So in checksum problem, when a sender, when a sender sends a message to the receiver, at the intermediate stage this checksum will happen. So this checksum will detect any error is present or not, detect the error in the message which is sent from the sender to the receiver. So how means, let's see. So first what we should do as the problem on the say check the sum check the sum so there will be the frames so these are called as one frame two frame three frame four frame so this full will be called as the message the message will be divided into n number of segments n number of segments and in this n number of segments there will be m bits there will be m number of bits all of the segments that is 1 2 3 4 4 segments are there and in all of the four segments there are 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 8 number of bits in all the segments there will be equal number of bits in four segments we are having 8 8 bits 8 bits 8 bits 8 bits 8 bits like that we should add two two segments or the frames at a time so let's add them 1010011 so this is at the sender side this is at the sender side so this is the first frame second is 10101011 now let's add so while adding i will show you a short trick so as you all know 0 plus 1 will be 1 and 1 plus 0 will be equal to 1 so there is no shortcut in this one next one is 1 plus 1 so it will be 2 you can't write 2 because you must represent only using zeros and ones what will be the process is just write 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so what is the value of 2 power 0 it is 1 2 power 1 is 2 2 power 2 is 4 2 power 3 is 8 now what we are requiring we require only 2 so i will put 1 to 2 and all others i don't need now we also know that whenever the value start greater than 0 whenever the value start greater than 0 its right hand, right hand side in its right hand side how many zeros may become we will consider it but before the starting of the non-zero element the how many zeros will be coming we will not be considering so these two zeros will not be considered only 1 and 0 will be considered so 0 will be the sum and 1 will be the carry if it is 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 how you will represent you need 2 also you need 1 also 2 plus 1 will be 3 so 1 and 1 1 will be sum and 1 will be carry so this is the maximum that is only 3 1 2 3 up to 3 they will give after that there will be no addition now 1 plus 1 will be 2 how you will represent 0 will be the sum and 1 will be carry 0 is sum 1 is carry 1 plus 1 plus 1 it is 3 1 is sum and 1 is carry 1 plus 0 plus 0 that is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 will be 2 that is 0 will be the sum and 1 will be the carry 1 plus 0 plus 0 it will be 1 1 plus 1 will be 2 0 will be the sum and 1 will be the carry now when carry will be 1 that is the left out carry will be 1 we will just add it to the least significant bit we will add it to the least significant bit at last if we are left with one carry we will add it to the least significant bit now add 0 plus 1 will be 1 so and all others will be same now these two frames are done now let's go with the third one 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 plus 0 will be 1 1 plus 1 will be 2 so that is 0 will be the base so, so more 1 so 0 will be the sum and 1 will be the carry 1 plus 1 will be 2 how will represent 0 will be this sum and 1 will be carry 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 sum is 1 carry is 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 sum is 1 carry is 1 1 plus 0 plus 0 1 
1 plus 1 will be 2, 0 is the sum and 1 will be the carry. 1 plus 0 plus 0, it will be equal to 1. Now, we added the 3 frames. Now, we are left out with only 1 frame. That is 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, 1 plus 1 will be 2, 0 will be the sum, 1 will be carry. 1 plus 0 plus 0, 1. 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 1 will be 2, sum will be 0 and carry will be 1, 1 plus 1 plus 0 that is 2, 0 will be the sum, carry will be 1, 1 plus 0 plus 1 that is 2, 0 will be the sum, carry will be 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1, sum will be 1 and carry will be 1. When we are left with carry 1 at the last we will add it to the least significant bit, add it. 0 plus 1 will be 1 and all others will be same as it is. Now we added all the 4 frames at the sender side. We are left out with the remainder this one. So this one will be the remainder. So this process will stop at the sender side. Now it will go at the receiver side. Now it will go at the receiver side. So what you must do is simple technique, same process will take place at the receiver side. Just copy this one and write this one. So this side also you will be getting the reminder as since you are just copy and pasting right here, you will be getting the same reminder 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1. Now what you must do is add the reminder with the checksum. Add reminder with the checksum. What will be the value of checksum? Checksum is the complement of the reminder. That is wherever 0 is there, you put, you put 1. Wherever 1 is there, you put 0. So 1 will be complemented as 0, 0 will be complemented as 1 and 1 will be complemented as 0. Now what you must do? You must add. Add the reminder and the checksum. If you add 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now all are 1. After the sum of the reminder and checksum, again you complement the values. So when you complemented the value, you will get all the values will be equal to 0 because one's complement is 0. When you get all the numbers as 0, that is the complemented values are equal to 0, at the receiver side, the message which has been sent from the sender is accepted without any error. Hope you understood the concept of the checksum. Please subscribe and support for more engineering related topics. Thank you.